Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. It's time for this week's Johnny's Pizza House Spirit Stick, and this week's winners reside up in Arkansas. Let's check it out. Now, the Johnny's Pizza House Spirit Stick. Mineral Springs High School has confidence. We've been working hard all season long. We had a little bumpy roll here in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? With the practice we made over for it, and then we turned it over. That kind of conviction makes them the perfect choice for the Week 11 Johnny's Pizza House Spirit Stick. Well, we have a strong community that really supports our school and our teams. You come to any athletic event, we're going to have a full crowd because they support what we're doing up here. We have good kids uh, putting a good product on the field. Students take pride in their surroundings and each other. Sometimes they really don't need getting pumped up. They do it themselves. But... We always be live. <laughs> <laughs> The Spirit Stick win wraps up a week heading into playoffs for this school. Hey, that's outstanding. Our kids, they, they've got a lot of great spirit here at Mineral Springs, and, and these kids have come a long ways in two years, and, you know, this will be our second year in the playoffs. That was Crystal Whitman. Big win for Mineral Springs, beating East Point Set County 20 to 14 earlier tonight. Now we send it over to Tim, who is with Charlie Cavell for this week's top plays. Guys? That's right, Brad. I am joined by the voice of the Bird Yellow Jackets, Mr. Charlie Cavell, to break down this week's plays of the week. You ready to do it? Yeah, let's get to it. All right, let's get right into it. This is uh, from the Captain Shreve games. Evan Hicks with the big hit, jarring the ball loose. David Brown scoops and scores. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. You know, it was David Brown. I mean, this first of all, this hit, and Shreve's defense has been great all year, but it was David Brown who stole the ball away from Carson Dunn in our game in the backyard that brawl the that goal. made it come down to the end of the game because they, they brought it closer, and it was that young man right there who did it. He did it again tonight. All right, let's go to the second play. This is Luke Bogan looking to Trayon Jones. Well, and Trayon Jones going to go all the way to the right, then all the way back to the left, and then all the way down the field for a touchdown. That it's like fast. It's like a video game. It's like X button, Z, you know, A button, B, Z, 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 gone. R2, R2, yeah. <laughs> R2 L2. Uh, triangle, uh, uh, circle button. It's not a full spin move, but, but then he's coming back to us. And yeah, I mean, you know, the weapons that they have offensively, but I still, you know, Brad and I talked earlier, their defense is the difference for between them playing in the Superdome or, or not. I talked about that in the top six this week. I said they're going to go as far as that defense can take them. And the third play. This is a, a, a connection here that we should have been seeing all year long. We haven't had the chance to see a lot of it because they've both been injured on and off all season. It was a Monty Larry 91 yards to Kobe Gill. Well, that was Kobe Gill's second touchdown of the ball game, and this long touchdown right here uh, brought them within two. Late they went, in the game. Yeah, they went for two, didn't get it, and then unfortunately for Parkway, didn't get the uh, onside kick. But, you know, Amani was out most of the year with the broken leg. Kobe Gill missed the bird game because the week before he had gotten dinged in the uh, Shreve game, so he was out a couple of games. So, you know, that's two huge weapons. When you lose your starting quarterback in high school football, that's a big, big uh, obstacle to and overcome. That's two years in a, way, in a row oh, yeah. for the Parkway Panthers to lose. Big time players on their offense. Yep. Well, that's all the uh, player of the player plays of the week. We're going to break down so much more. We're going to talk about playoff football here coming up after the break. <laughs> 